Okay. Uh, in this video, we're going to consider another property of the gel operator and the, uh, the gradient, which this property uh, helps us perform certain types of operations more efficiently with the gel operator. Let's say that uh, we're going to take the gradient to some scalar, some scalar P, and let's say that this scalar P is some function, say, of mu where u itself might be some function of the variables x, y, and z. So in this case what we can say is that the gradient of p is equal to the derivative of the scalar p with respect to u times the gradient of u. Now, we'll show that this is true, and then in order to really sort of uh, crystallize exactly what it means, we'll take some examples as well. But let's go ahead and prove this relation. So, just using our definition, this is the partial of p with respect to x times i plus partial of p with respect to y times j plus the partial of p with respect to z times k. And remember, p itself is a function of u, and u is some function of x, y, and z. So, here, for the partial of P with respect to X, we can use the chain rule here and write this as partial of P with respect to U times the partial of U with respect to X. And that will be the I component of the gradient vector. Remember, our scalar is some function of u, where u itself is some function of x, y, and z. So, when taking the partial of the scalar with respect to x, we can use the chain rule here. And likewise, we can do the same with this expression. This would be plus partial of p with respect to u times partial of u with respect to y times j unit vector, then we're going to have plus partial of p with respect to u and then we're going to have the partial of u with respect to z. Now, the way this is being set up is u is a sum function of x, y, and z. And this will be the k component of the gradient vector. So, here we have a partial of t with respect to u. And here we have a partial of u with respect to i. Partial of u with respect to y times j, and a partial of u with respect to z times k, so this is equal to partial of p with respect to u, and if that's going to be multiplied by, that's what this is, and that's what we were trying to show. This is the partial, this is the critical of P with respect to you, same thing here. Now, you might not be completely comfortable uh, with exactly what this is and how to use it. So, let's see if we can clarify uh, by taking an example. So, let's say, for example, that we had
remember what the position vector is. That's this. And remember, its magnitude, r, is some function of these. It's just x squared plus y squared plus z squared to the one half. And we know that from our previous videos that this, oops, this is the magnitude of r, that's right like this, which is just r. And we know that the gradient of r is equal to the unit position vector. We demonstrated that in the past videos. Now, let's ask this question. Suppose that we were taking the gradient say of r to the n, where r itself is a function of x, y, and z. So here then we would say that this would be equal to the derivative of this with respect to r times the gradient of r. So we would write it like this, the derivative would be n times r to the n minus 1, that's that, times del r. We know what this is. That's that. So we have that del, the gradient of r to the n is equal to n times r to the n minus 1 times the unit position vector. So, for example, what if we wanted to know, we know what this is, we just used it, but what would it be, say, for how can we figure that out? We go right back to here. In this case, here n just equals negative one. Like this. So this take the derivative of that, that's minus times r to the minus 2 times del r, which equals minus r to the minus 2 times the unit position vector. Or we can write it if we want to as minus the position vector divided by the magnitude of the position vector squared with that minus sign before. Otherwise, now, if we didn't have this relationship, we could figure this out by going ahead and using our definition here. But you can see now, with our new relationship that we just proved, how much more efficient it is to do it this way. And we're going to use this relationship uh, in other videos too, so we'll become more familiar with it. But it's a very handy tool, so we just want to take a, a video here just to uh, derive this expression and then to demonstrate its use. So, so far concerning now just the, uh, the del operator and the position vector, we have these relationships. We know that the divergence of the position vector, that's 3. The curl of the position vector, that's 0. The gradient of it, that's this. 
to gradient of it to any power. That's this. Specifically, we know that now that the gradient of 1 over r that's equal to minus the unit vector divided by the major divided by the magnitude of the position vector squared and also we have determined in the uh, previous video that the Laplacian of this of the magnitude of the position vector is equal to 2 divided by the magnitude of the position vector. So this is just kind of a summary then because these relationships are used a lot in mechanics and also in electricity and magnetism. So we just want to go back and just kind of reinforce these relationships. But also this relationship here and how we can put it to use and we're going to also demonstrate this in future videos. So come back, join us for those videos and we'll try and follow through some more problems.